morning you guys I am realizing that I do not have that much time left until I start the West Highland Way. I really need to get my butt in gear and dive further into my physical training to make sure that I'm ready for this. First things first today is I wanna get outside and make sure I'm used to the hiking boots. So we're gonna go for a hike first thing, but we need to get B in on this. B. We're gonna go for a little walk. Oh, we're going for a walk? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> this is gonna be great. And it just snowed here, so it's so beautiful. I'm so excited. Ooh, we're looking good there. So there were a couple of mistakes I made on my last trek on the Camino Francis. And a big part of that was my shoes. So I have my boots that I bought like five months ago. I haven't been wearing them as much as I really need to. So now what I'm doing is wearing my shoes every day and just getting used to having the boots on and walking for multiple miles. For the West Highland Way, I think the average day is about 12 miles from the routing that I created. So I really want to know that, you know, like I'm up to that mileage and I can do that multiple days in a row in these shoes without getting <laughs> blisters or sore spots. So, so far so good in these boots. I need to remember that anytime I'm feeling, I wouldn't say lazy, but I feel like oftentimes we're so busy that I put off the walk. This is just a good reminder to just do the thing and I'll have more energy afterwards anyway to work. So I really like walking in the afternoon. It's really nice, but I am thirsty. So now, I think we need to make some fresh juice. Be ready for some juice? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah. That one's really good. Bingo. <laughs> I'm excited to show you one of the things I've been really getting into lately. 
If you watched my video where I talked about having a degenerative disc in my back, that's really motivated me to look at my physical fitness and really how I want my life to look. Since I'm trained in nutrition and things like that, that's kind of the easier stuff I guess you would say now. I'm really wanting to work on that physical fitness of working out. So one of the first things I did um, as I showed you that I was going on this journey is look up a personal trainer because we are nomadic this is not our house we're just house sitting i had to find somebody that would work with me online and that also could you know work with people that have lower back pain so i've learned from going to physical therapy and working with some people that work in joint and spine health and also my personal trainer and a couple other people that i really need to work on my core and my glutes and just further stability uh, for myself. So I found somebody that I'm loving working with. Her name is Emily. I'm gonna drop her information down below because she's been so helpful in helping me figure out what's right for me. And I get access to everything in this online um, program. Exercises though that are tailored to me, they're not just some like for everybody. And so I can access them anywhere and watch them and just follow along. And then I meet with her once or twice a month um, just to see how things are going and to help me with my form and all that stuff. I'm gonna just show you a couple of the things that I've been working on. Just gonna do a little workout with all of you today. My workouts generally last for about 30 minutes a day, and while at first it felt difficult to make this time for myself, having a bigger goal to look forward to has really made all the difference. I think of the mountains I'm gonna climb, the places I'm gonna see, and how much more energy I will have so I can experience the fullness of everything the West Highland Way has to offer. Each day I reach for the dumbbells or get on the mat, I am reminded of the kind of life I want for myself and the lessons of the Camino de Santiago to do hard things and create discipline from within. All the exercises that I'm focusing on are specifically designed for carrying a pack and walking up and down hills. I'm strengthening my shoulders, legs, core, and glutes every day. And I also feel like I'm training myself to be stronger mentally. Those leg ones on the stairs are my favorite. They're not perfect by any means, and I can really focusing on my form, but I can tell that they're really gonna be helpful when going down a really rocky or slippery surface because I feel like I'm really learning how to stabilize myself, and that's super exciting. And you know, I think it just goes to show for any of you out there that are like thinking like, oh, I'm not in shape, I couldn't do a tracker, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. It's worth just saying, yeah, I wanna do that. You can do it, you know, find somebody to help you. I'm really loving this program with Emily and I'm feeling really excited to see how I do this time on a trail, especially with more hills. But now, actually it's time for the sauna. Did you turn on the sauna, B? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah? It should be good to go, yeah. Do you want a sauna with me? Uh. <laughs> no, you're good? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> It is hot in here. So it's an infrared sauna, and then also we have the stone over here to heat. So it's like this double whammy, and it feels so good. I've noticed doing this every single day before stretching and then working out and going on a walk. It's just like my whole body feels better. Okay. Now to run. To the cold shower. That was so cold, you guys, but I love it. I feel so good after doing that. Like the walk and working out and getting in the sauna is my whole, my back feels so good and my whole body feels alive and invigorated. This experience of being more intentional with getting ready for this trek has been such a great opportunity to look at what's not really helping me <laughs> in my life. It feels like another Camino experience in just processing and 
yeah, just looking at my life and going, where am I being kind of too easy on myself? Maybe even a bit, little bit lazy. I want to show up more confident this time, and that doesn't mean there won't be growth on the trail, but maybe you're in a place like I am, where you're like, okay, like I gotta get my butt in gear. You know, I hope this video helps you to see that. There is no, you know, perfectionism in it. It's just, what can you do? Each day that'll help you feel good and get ready. You know, maybe it's just walking for 15 minutes a day, five minutes a day, whatever it might be. Maybe your West Highland Way, your trek, your Camino, whatever it is that you're going on is totally different. Maybe it's just a one mile walk and that's totally fine. So whatever it is, just be proud of yourself for doing it and moving forward. And I'll see you all next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye everybody.